Hi there, good morning, good morning from Thailand where the birds are singing and the sun is not yet shining uh, through the clouds. And I'm happy to be here with you today and to share some of the insights that have come to me in this morning's meditation uh, and also with the card that I pulled to meditate upon. So I want to start out just by, by sharing that uh, I'm about to step into a part of my path that I've been preparing for for at least this lifetime and probably many lifetimes. I am so honored and blessed to be able to step into the role that I really was meant to play in this life as a, as a retreat leader, facilitator, holder of sacred space for women's empowerment. So tomorrow is my last day coming to you from this space, my apartment here in Chiang Mai, uh, because I'll be, I'll be at uh, the retreat center. So I'm super excited. And welcome to those of you who are, who are here. Anais, Danny, uh, Marianne, welcome, welcome. So today's card is really, it's really apropos for anyone who is wanting to step into their own empowerment and their own purpose for this life in, in a powerful, successful, invincible, courageous way. So, and uh, by the way, the, the name of the retreat is Empowered Feminine Leadership. So it's all about, what I'm about to step into is all about stepping into leadership in a way that feels authentic and true and courageous for, for the attendees and also for myself as a facilitator. So how does that tie in with today's card? I'll show you the card first and then we'll talk about it and how it might apply to you. Hi, Marianne, and uh, beautiful to see you here also, Danny. So here's the card. <laughs> Pretty strange looking, isn't it? And it's called Clinging to the Past, and this is the Five of Cups. So I'll show it to the card to you again in a moment. But um, the Five typically is an unstable number. The Five is a number of transition. The Five is the number that represents that time when we go from solidness and stability of the Four, and we're ready to go on our next journey or a, a, like a peak number, which is the Six. So I like to use the, the metaphor or the symbol of a, a five-legged chair or table. And you could right away use your imagination to see in your mind's eye that five-legged table and the challenge that any builder would have or designer would have to make sure all five of those legs are absolutely equal, otherwise the table or chair would wobble. So that's the quality of five. It's like that feeling of unsteadiness, un instability. And then we have the five of water here. See, it's blue, so I know it's water. Hi, Liz. Welcome. Good to see you back again today. So the five of water. So this is a, the, the instability in the feeling realm, in the emotions. And then the name of this card is called Clinging to the Past. And if we look at the image here, there's an image of a woman or a man, looks like a woman to me, with a big box on her head. And, and all the things in the box are not in and of themselves negative. There's hearts, there's flowers, there's bright color yellow. There's many, many lips. I don't know if you can see it, but lips with words or um, some like ribbon streaming from the mouth, which would indicate like words or thoughts. Hi, Ben. Welcome. Good to see you here. So the five of water and clinging to the past is one of the ways we will block ourselves from doing our work in the world, from stepping into our own empowered uh, leadership of our lives, um, choices that are empowering and self-loving. Um, a sense of freedom and liberation because when we cling to the past, e whether those are positive memories or wounds or unkind words or broken hearts, there's a lot of hearts there, 
what happens is we end up with this sort of fractured, look at how like it's not organized at all. It's just, there's all these lines through it and it, it's chaotic. It becomes chaotic. And um, the emotions, the old, the old, hi Martin, welcome. Uh, the old thoughts of, and the old feelings from the past become this kind of jumble in our minds that, that prevent us from accessing guidance. So again, when we look at this card clinging to the past as this character in the card clings to all the old past feelings, thoughts, memories, storylines, she's completely blocked off from all the light and the magic and the starlight uh, and the infinity of possibility that's all around her. She can't access it because she's clinging to the past. So uh, I, I mentioned in a previous, I think two days ago, the Facebook Live that I did this process the other day called Fast Track. And it's one of many processes that are being brought forward on the planet right now to assist us in releasing the past by reprogramming our subconscious minds and opening up or making available to us access to greater emotional resources and creative resources. So I myself am a um, certified uh, neuro-linguistic programming coach, life coach, and um, hypnotherapist. Those are my modalities. Uh, there are many. I, I love these modalities, but again, I use others as well, like I did with the Fast Track. I find um, cards like uh, uh, tools like the tarot and astrology are fantastic insight tools. Uh, traditional therapy, I don't have a lot of experience with, but I find that if you are just addressing things, welcome, Janana. If you're just wel uh, welcoming, if you're just addressing issues, including past memories, feelings, emotions that have you bogged down, if you're only addressing them on the conscious level, you actually perpetuate clinging to them. <laughs> it's not sufficient to know what the thing in the past was that hurt you, harmed you, traumatized you, or has locked you into a pattern that doesn't serve you. Knowledge is not sufficient. In order to actually release your clinging to the past, you have to address it at the subconscious and the spiritual level. So, how does one do it then? Well, like I said, you can, you can go to a, a practitioner of a, a, a kind of therapy that, that works with the subconscious, and I, I strongly encourage that. But there's another piece of it too. Welcome, Thornton. There's another piece of it too, which is the spiritual dimension. So what could this character do right now if she didn't have access to a therapist or a, a practitioner who could help her at the subconscious level? She could begin to surrender her clinging to the past, to the divine. And this is the piece where a lot of therapies I feel are, um, there's a piece that could you could say is missing. And and I, I get as, as someone who is a practitioner that we meet clients where they're at, um, but also we attract clients based on who we are. And um, thank you, Thornton. I'm in the sunshine of, of Chiang Mai, Thailand. So uh, welcome, Jillian. So spiritual dimension. Sorry, I'm having, having a moment of squirreldom answering comments. Um, the spiritual dimension. When we connect with the eternal nature of our beings, our true divinity in form, we have a whole lot more resources available to us for healing and clearing ourselves. We have a lot of trauma, both personally and collectively, among humans on the planet right now. We have thousands of years of war and trauma in the lineage and in our personal lives. And so that needs to be addressed with um, and healed through transforming at the subconscious level, the level that is, be is beneath and beyond the scope of what the conscious mind could possibly manage. And even beneath and beyond that is the, the sacred, the divine. 
the eternal nature of our beings. And so to answer my question that I asked earlier, what could this character do right now to release her clinging to the past? She could offer it up and ask for divine guidance. So my prayer when I catch myself clinging to the past or listening to ego stories <laughs> about how right I am about things is to say, I offer up this judgment or I offer up this clinging to the past. I offer up this pain. I offer up whatever it is to the divine. I offer it up. I, my, my conscious mind and my ego mind cannot solve this problem, cannot find the solution. And so I offer it up. I surrender my need to cling to the past. I surrender my need to tell the same old stories over and over again. I surrender this conversation going on in my head that's going nowhere. I surrender it to the divine that I may be healed and free and that those whose lives I touch are more free to be what they need to be. So as this character Let's go of holding on. See how she's clinging on to the past, clinging on to these stories in her head, this box that boxes her in. If she were to just let go and surrender it, just like that card the other day, let go, let God, but in a different way now. I surrender this up. I offer this up to the divine that I may be free. So with that, I invite you all to tune into where in your life might you be clinging to the past to old stories that no longer serve you, to old myths about who you are or who you need to be or what you should be doing, or old stories about who wounded you or who did this to you or who did that or whose fault it is, or old arguments in your head that yeah, sh I should have said this or I'd want to say that or any of this stuff. Surrender. Offer it up. Let it go. Hi, Karina. Welcome. I can't wait to meet you in person in another day or so. Let go of clinging to the past for your own freedom. And uh, as always, this is a message for me first, and then I share it forward with you. So I don't want you to feel like this is a lecture. It's not. It's an invitation. It's an exploration. We are all here together in this... <laughs> I love to see you too. Um, Karina, thank you. We are all in this together. It's one planet, one family, and we are all awakening to the truth of who we are, which is not these small suffering beings in little conflicts with each other and big conflicts on the planet. We are divine eternal beings and we are here to wake up, to let go of the past and reclaim the truth of who we are, which is love. And so if there's any way that you can cling, let go of clinging to the past and bring more love into your life today, then yay, I celebrate with you. And here from Chiang Mai, Thailand, I send you so much love. Thank you, thank you for being here. And blessings to you wherever you are in the world.